Charles Dial West, and I got five brand new video add-ons to show you guys today. All right, so if you already have Fusion installed, then you're good to go. But if not, there'll be a link in the description of this video as well as on the screen. And you can just click that link, go ahead and add Fusion to your XBMC, and then come on back and follow. Okay, so we'll start with number five, and we'll end with number one being the best one. All right, and number five is Video Bull. And you get Video Bull from Kaz KOZZ repo. I'll go ahead and show you how to, how to install that repo. And like I said earlier, if you've already added Fusion, then you'll be able to add the Kaz repo with no problem. Just go into your system settings and then add-ons, install from zip, and whatever you saved your Fusion add-ons name under, I saved mine under Super Add-ons, so if you just type Fusion, it'll be under Fusion. Just go ahead and select it. Go down to the last, second to last thing, Video, select that one, and go to Repositories, select that one. And you want to find KOZZ, just scroll down. Video Bowl Repository, the very last one. You just select that one, and once you click on it, with it doesn't matter which device you're on, all you have to do is let double left click with your mouse if you're on a computer or Windows computer, or if you're on a Mac, just just double tap. And either way, you just install that repo, and once it's installed, just go back a few steps and then go up, go up one to get add-ons, and then go right there, cause add-ons just go into that repo and then right here video add-ons it may not look like this it may look like that so you want to just select that one and right here where it says uninstall it'll say install for you you just select that in a few seconds you'll see that it'll say downloading and it'll say add-on enabled at the bottom right and once you get it installed I'll go ahead and launch it for you video bull is excellent for the latest TV shows I just click on the first one and then page one of the latest category, latest uh, added TV shows. And you can see right here you can change your view. There's some nice thumbnails or something like that. Go ahead and find something to start up real quick. I'll show you guys that this works. Real Housewives of New Jersey. And it should start up pretty quick. Just select one of the sources. The most popular ones are Put Locker and Sock Share. Vidbulls also has its own independent sources. I don't want to waste too much time waiting for this video to start up. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit back and try another source. Go ahead and stop it. Now, I know the quality didn't look the best, but as it plays for a few more seconds, it'll get better and better. It's just, I don't, like I said, I don't want any copyright trouble. I have a good account, and I, I just want to show you guys that it was starting up. Everybody knows I wasn't trying to pirate any, any uh, video content. Okay, so that was number five, Video Bull. We'll go ahead and we'll move on to number four, which is Simply Movies. Now, despite the name, Simply Movies is movies and TV shows both. And you get it from the XBMC Hub repo. So, I'll show you guys how to add that once again. All these repos are added the same way. You go to System Settings, Add-ons, Install from Zip. You go to your Fusion, Fusion Sources once again. You go to your bottom of your list to video, select that one, select repositories, and then you're going to look for the XBMC Hub repo, which is probably the better repo out of any of them. Right there, XBMC Hub repository. Once you get that one selected, just click on it, get it installed. It'll take a few seconds. Once you see that it's enabled in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you just go back a few steps and then up one to get add-ons. Select that. Then right there you can see scroll down to it and highlight and select it XPMC hub repo and go into your video add-on section and right in there you'll see set where simply movies 
right there and just where it says like I told you before where it says uninstall it will say install for you it's that simple you just click right there and get it installed I'll go ahead and launch it show you guys just how it works if you get that message just hit your back button or either I think you can also hit the select button to go forward also and it'll, dis it'll dismiss that message and once you start it up, if you just go to main page or you could search for an individual title or whatever, I have my view set like that. You can see the uh, thumbnails is pretty much one of the best views. And I'm not going to start stuff up, you know, just for interest of trying to keep this video a little bit shorter and to, you know, refrain from having any trouble with copyright violations. So, I mean, you guys know this stuff starts up. If you have any problems, just send me a message, but most of this stuff should start up with no problem, if not all of it. So we'll go ahead and move on to number three, which is I Watch Online. Now, I'll go ahead and show you, once again, you got to add a repo to get the I Watch Online add-on. You'll have to add the one repo. So you go to System Settings, Add-ons, Install from Zip. Go to your fusion, fusion sources once again. Video repositories. Right there you can see iWatch Online, B-Movies repository. The one, you just select that one. A few seconds later when it's installed, just go back a few steps. To, then go up one to get add-ons. And you want to go into the one XBMC add-ons repository, select that. Go into it, video add-ons, and that's all you have to do is find that I watch online, select it, and where it says install, just like before, it was, it, where it says uninstall, it'll say install for you. That's it. Once you get it installed, it takes a few seconds. You'll get a notification saying it's, saying it's installed. Enable add-on enabled. You just go to it like that, launch it, and this one's good for movies and TV shows both. So. Let's go check out TV shows. TV shows is really the hardest thing to keep up with on XBMC because they're constantly new and they're constantly being refreshed. So you just got to kind of like really stay on it to try to find the latest TV shows when they're fresh like the same day. Usually you find stuff within a few hours of it airing. Some stuff, you know, faster. Some stuff takes till the next day. It just depends on how popular and you know, it just depends on when it gets posted. So you just find us something real quick. Let's see. I mean, I'm not going to really start anything up because, like I said earlier, copyright. I just want to show you guys that it does, you know, how to get all this stuff. And, you know, most of this stuff starts up, if not all of it. All right, so I'll go ahead and go back. And we'll move on to number two, which is Z Movies. Now you already added the one, which is the repo that you get Z movies from. So you simply do it the same way as as if you already added it. Just go to system and settings and just skip the go to add-ons and just skip the step right here, install from zip, just go straight to get add-ons. The one repo, go into it, and right there, last one on the list, Z movies. Go ahead and enable that one. And if you see anything else in any of these repos when you're inside it, just feel free to add whatever you want. WWE if you're into wrestling or there's a few other things in there that are okay. So we'll go ahead and go back and just wait a few seconds. Just add it the same way as any other add-on. Just wait a few seconds and then go ahead and launch it. Takes a few seconds sometimes. And there you go. Movies. So like that. Let's go 30 top feature. I don't start up a lot of stuff I know for you guys, but like I said, it's best that you know I don't do it. I'll go ahead and start this up. The heat, this is currently in theaters. And all you pretty much have to do once you see this is just pick a source. It's pretty much that simple. Now I stick with pretty much, you know, the same few sources. Because I know 
that you know usually once you get the names of a few that work pretty good I suggest you do the same and stick with them so let's try file nuke it's a pretty popular one and just wait a few seconds alright so I'll go ahead and go back that's Z movies that's number two it's awesome check it out and finally number one is lost movies so I'll show you lost movies comes from the silencer I'll show you once again you just go over to system settings add-ons install from zip go to fusion select that go to the very last thing on second to last thing on this video repositories you're looking for the silencer There it is. So once you just cut, you just select that one and get it added to your list, and you just go back a couple steps. And then go to get add-ons. The silencer. Go go into that one. Go into video add-ons, and right there, lost movies. And if you want to add these others, you can read about them, check them out. If you're interested in them, go right ahead. That one's pretty good. So that's how you add it. Same way, select it. Where it says uninstall, it'll say install for you. Just get it installed. It takes a few seconds. Start to go back. After you finish, go over to your video add-on section. Launch Lost Movies. And Lost Movies is just movies, but it's pretty cool because it's the best movies so you know I'll go to the latest and uh, they're always great quality it typically if it's not a good not a good quality they'll just get rid of it as fast and furious six I'll go ahead and start that up and I didn't start many movies but I just want to start a couple and show you guys that at least that it does start up let's try I share HD these are sources if you don't know most most of you guys by now I'm sure you know you just go down to play select that one and wait a couple seconds most of you guys are familiar how it works with the sources but for you new guys I'm just giving you a walkthrough of exactly how it's done so you don't feel lost as you go through the steps and watching the latest movies and TV shows alright so tell me what you guys think in the comments section below please like our page at facebook.com forward slash charged iOS hope this video was helpful if you guys need any more help please message me for any questions I'll do my best to try to help you guys I'll see you guys in the next video peace